I'm sure you guys have heard about the shortage of the Similac milk and how shelves are empty and a whole lot is going on with the supply of that along with other things. But I am getting fired up once again because these false teachers and messengers and all of these people, they've latched on to that now. And they're making messages. And I got three points out of the, uh, this of the messages that they're making. Similac Milk, Elon Musk, and Putin. It centers around that, and there's more. But I was just thinking, like, if somebody that calls themselves a pastor, calls themselves a prophet, calls themselves a messenger of God, or whatever you want to call it, and they're in a pulpit or making supposedly godly messages, and they center it around some type of conspiracy theory of Similac milk, conspiracy theory with Putin, conspiracy with uh, or, uh, the praise of Putin and the praise of Elon Musk, a guy that the guy that's not even uh, uh, an atheist basically, and Putin, which is a dictator, tyrant, and an evil man, and put conspiracies and mix that in. You don't need. You need to get away from that. Get away from listening to this person because this is a person that's not being led by the Holy Spirit. Do you think the Holy Spirit's going to lead? You know, just think about this for my, my, my seasoned Christians out there. Think about this. The Holy Spirit's job is to, you know, prune us and, and help us grow and to mature us and to lead us in the truth. But Somehow, these false teachers and messengers out there, they're, you know, you one uh, uh, a giveaway where they're showing you that they're not being led by the Spirit of God is they're led off to worldly things. They're led off to things of the world, to talk about topics of the world, talk about celebrities, talk about, you know, God gave a message for them to give to a celebrity. Come on. And all of this stuff. Stuff like that. And now it's the conspiracy that somehow the government's behind deliberately making sure that there's no milk for the babies. Not knowing what the root cause of whether that's whatever salmonella and, and something went on within the factory and caused all of the, uh, had to shut down and there's a whole reasons why that stuff is happening and the reasons why there's a shortage worldwide on, in all kinds of areas thanks to the pandemic where stuff was shut down. But why does it have to be some type of the, the government is up to this? They're doing this. Uh, I, I hear people on some of these uh, uh, channels, when I see the comments, they call it the plandemic and, and all of this little stuff that there's an evil plan you know, Hillary is behind this. Obama's behind that. It's, it's the current administration and all of this wild, wacky stuff. See, this has nothing to do with uplifting Christ. This has nothing to do with drawing people, sharing the gospel and trying to draw people to the gospel. This has nothing to do with that. What is talking about you supposed to be a Christian, a, a, a Christian messenger for God, a pastor, preacher, uh, prophet, prophetess, whatever, and you're sitting there making messages about Similac Milk or Elon Musk. What is that? How is that going to do any good to somebody that's trying to figure out do they want to live or do they want to die because they're suicidal? Or do, what are they going to do with, you know, they hear about God supplying their needs and, and they're struggling and, and, and wondering, are they going to make it? And, and, and wondering if anyone's going to love me because I'm a foster child or, or I've been abandoned and all of this stuff. How is, see, you see what I mean? That's not sharing the gospel and the love of Christ and the message of salvation and redemption. What they're doing is they're on a whole nother agenda, these people. And we need to make sure if you're listening to them, you need to steer clear of this kind of stuff. Because these are not messengers of, for God. That, like I said, they don't speak for God. They represent somebody else. And we know what I always say. It's Satan 
and the one we punch right in between the chops on this channel and expose him and his devices and talk about issues the church run away from. My name is Maurice Braxton, Evangelism for God is the channel. If you're new, consider subscribing, hit like, coming along for the journey, because we're going to continue to give God glory on this channel and call out anybody that's off, that's running away with crazy talk, off running away with false teachings and thinking that they're going to get away with it. You know what? You're not getting away with it on here. We're going to call you out. So until the next time, then to give God all the glory in the process. Till the next time, take care. God bless.